I'm Alex Stroll. I'm an adventure photographer. I am 28. I live in Montana now, but um, I'm from France. So I moved to Montana because actually my dad studied here in the 60s. So I have all these photos and I grew up hearing stories about him skiing here. I came here for a weekend to, to whitefish in Montana and I just love the vibe, so I ended up staying here. I like photography. I've always liked photography because it gives me a reason to go somewhere and meet people and document how they interact with the landscape and the environment. You know, such a joy looking at a map and seeing a place. I mean, I'm gonna go there. Why? Well, I'll bring my camera and I'll figure that out, you know, as I go. It's just a reason to interact with the landscape for me. My favorite subject is water. Everything I shoot is based on water. All we know is comes from water. So for me, it's always whenever I'm in doubt, and, you know, wondering what to do, I'm like, go back to the roots and like, just start from water. Then you can build on lakes, glaciers, forests, even deserts, because they've been affected by water too, by the scarcity of water. So it's for me, it's really based on water. And in blue, I tend to prefer cold landscapes, cold environments where water flows everywhere. They're more alive to me. Yeah, the message I want to share in my photos, it's always the same, comes back to the same thing is get out. You know? <laughs> and I think a lot of us need a little nudge, a gentle nudge, some tough love to remind ourselves to go out. So that's my message is I hope to inspire people to go experience outside more because the more people that go outside, hopefully the more we will care about it. I think that's always at the core of what I do is like, how can I make this approachable so that somebody wants to go and do it? I want to inspire people to, to do things and to kick ass at their own life. I shoot everything on a Canon 5D Mark IV or a 1DX when the weather gets really tough. <laughs> but usually 5D Mark IV is my workhorse. I use a, a lot 1635. Either I'll go super wide, like 1635, or then I'll go 100-400. The in-betweens I don't use a ton. Um, if I use an in-between, it's because of the aperture, like a 50 or 35. I just use them because I have low aperture. But otherwise, I like to stick to extreme, 16 or 400. Today, I thought we would go on a, on a flight, and it's something I've never done before. I've waited for the right time to do this, and I think this is it. We're going to go fly over the Livingston Range, otherwise known as Glacier National Park. So we have this little plane that's going to take us up there right for sunset, and we're going to stay up after sunset just to shoot some blue hour. Yeah, I just try to think about what, what's real to me, you know. I'll try to write stuff down on paper, you know, before I go do something. Before I go shoot photos, I try to write down just the idea, what is it, what is my goal, my message, and why am I doing this? You know, if I'm shooting photos, I'd like there to be a reason behind them, and bringing that to life is what's, you know, the, harder part, the hardest part. We were driving this, this car up north in Iceland in the winter, in the afternoon, and we were gonna go shoot sunset at this place, and on the way up the mountain pass, this car breaks down and it's like a snowstorm. <laughs> Broke it. So we're trying to fix it there. It's like sideways snow. <laughs> and we're just there under the hood trying to fix things just to get it to work at least so we can get to a gas station down the road or something. Hours go by till we can fix it <laughs> and it's dark. We ended up getting sort of fixed. We had this limping car <laughs> that we drove up this next mountain pass and that's where we shot the photo. And we would have never gotten this photo if, if stuff hadn't gone wrong. It just sums up the day for me. It's like, this is us. You know, everything gone, everything's gone wrong, so we're just like deep into it now, and it doesn't matter anymore. I love these moments. When things go wrong, that's when I get my better photos. I think taking photos for me, it's like a necessity. You know, when I don't take photos for a while, I'm like, God, I need to get back, you know, do something. And I like taking like a month break sometimes and not shoot anything. Just look back at old work and edit and figure out some stuff, but I think what draws me back always is this desire to see new places and to tell the story of these new places or these new people. I guess it's the love of sharing a perspective, you know? Because it's weird, right, to wake up and be like, I gotta go take a photo and share it to all these people. It's strange when you think about it, you know, why? So my why is, you know, it just comes back to what we talked earlier, like show wilderness and to inspire people to go into it. It's, yeah, I think that's, that's it, man. <laughs>